First of all, I have two books that I bought years ago. This is called the Two Strokes Tuner Handbook. Now, I, I understand that it is online somewhere, but I bought this one used. It was built or made in 1972, 73, and it is uh, cost me almost hundred dollars. But it's a it's a Bible for these little motorcycles. There's no not a lot of flash bang computer stuff in it. It just gives you the basics. What we have at the carburetor right here. Let me see if I can go around here and get the sun here. This is your basically your carburetor. Let me see if I can do it over this. The air comes in right here. Okay, your fuel comes out of your main jet, which is right there. And the more that uh, you pull up on the um, throttle valve, the more air and fuel you get. So when these when these bikes start out, they have a bypass valve in in a, in a lot of carburetors, little, just these little ones, where your um, your slide is completely shut. There's no air goes by it or anything. They have a little bypass hole that goes underneath it on one side. It shoots a little bit of air and gas in there, and it's so the bike can idle. All right. Your choke just gives you more gas in this little valve place. Then what happens is your idle jet takes care of like about five, uh, say five percent of your throttle. And then as you get onto the throttle here, up here, hey cat, what are you doing? That's my 18 year old cat, princess. Hi princess, don't, don't eat that. So what I'm thinking from the, uh, the things I've heard about the, the, with the bike is that it's running okay, but it's not idling. It tells me that the idle jet, which is a little tiny um, brass fitting with a teeny hole in it, I think it's clogged. So I'll have to take the carburetor off to find out. But I've been trying to figure out how to get it off without tearing the whole damn bike apart. Sorry about my language. So that's that's where I'm at right now. I'm, we're going to tear everything apart little by little, pull the carburetor off, and see if I'm right. It's it. This is a co most common um, bike problem for bikes that have been sitting over the months in winter, and it's the easiest thing to fix. Just remember when you take your bike into a, a bike shop and they got some. They're charging $95 an hour to fix it. You're not getting some NASA scientist that is an expert on these things to fix it. You don't know who you're getting. And if you want a job done, you might as well do it yourself. So, and that's the fun part about these little bikes. Being an old man, the older I get, they're still really easy to ride. And this is a, a bike I gr agreed to work on for a friend for free. And I'm going to see if I can buy it. It's a 2001 CH80. I just, I love it. But well, that'll be, we'll see. We'll see if I can do that. Now, the other book I have here, which is another good book, is Two Stroke Performance Tuning by A. Graham Bell. Here in the carburetor, this is your main, um, oh shit, I can't remember. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to cuss. Um, anyway, let's see if we can get the other page here. Maybe do this side. This is a, a cutaway of your carburetor. This is where the air comes in, right here, I think. And uh, this is where it goes into the engine. Now, when the bike is idling all this is completely shut down the air goes through the air hole on the bottom of the side and it goes up through a little tiny a bypass hole or a or a pilot jet which is a, like I said a little piece of brass so I want to look at the little piece of brass that's under here that could be underneath there and the main jet and see if there's any um, clogged fuel in there 
what you do with the 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 jet is you very carefully take a take a socket and you unscrew it and then you hold the jet up to the sun okay like that you can see it maybe and if you can see through it then it's clear if you don't then it, you can't and if you can't then that's, there's your problem and it, once you fix it everything should run fine if you don't have any uh, other major problems so that's where we're at right now all right we continue